When did you first come across or hear of Michael Winner? Well, you know, as a young actress, he was, he was a very, very big director. I was so excited that he wanted to see me. He, I think he'd done The Big Sleep, he'd done quite a, lots of movies, all the Die Hard movies, and I couldn't wait to meet him. It was, a, you know, it was through my agent. It was a proper audition. Mm. So, you know, I'd spent hours, you know what it's like, tarting yourself yeah, up, getting absolutely. ready. <laughs> and, um, and it was such a shock to be you know, talk to in that way. Because at that time, and I know much later on, he was, he was known as quite a rude and arrogant man. But at that time, he was Michael Winner, the film so, director. So talk us through what happened mm. to you, then. Well, I was invited to his house, which wasn't unusual, because I'd already done the film for Ken Russell, and I met him at his home, and Clive Donner, and made a film at, you know, met him at his home. So it's, it wasn't unusual to go to a director's house to meet him. Mm. Um, and then I was taken by somebody, I can't remember who, to an office, and he was in there, and he just said to me, right, I'd like you to go over by the window. I'd like to see you in the light and and again I didn't think that was unusual because I thought you know sometimes they'd like to see what you look like you know young 20s and so I went by the window and he said now I'd like you to take off your top and then take off your bra and massage your breasts wow and I went sorry and he said and I asked him twice and he said three times and then I went over to his desk and I very rudely told him to, where to put it really uh, I was very rude to him and then he turned mm. around to me and said right I'm going to report you to your agent and to equity so I ran out of the building ran out and ran to a phone box to phone my mum who at that time was my agent and he'd already rung her oh and he'd said that to her she went oh well done darling you did a brilliant audition and I went what? And she said, he was fabulous. He wants you to go straight back for a recall. And I said, do you know what he did? And my mum, oh, my darling, I'm so, so sorry. Because didn't he say to your mum that he played a trick on you yeah. and you coped with it brilliantly? And, and it was a fabulous audition. I'd like her to come straight back for a recall. And I tell you, it's sort of speechless just <laughs> trying is. to work through it. And, and, and very cunning and clever of him to, pr to sort of preempt first. the phone call because, of course, yeah, back yeah. in those days, no you didn't phones, have a mobile no phone mobile. in your pocket. Mm, You've got exactly. to get to a phone box yeah. to do it. How did you feel? I was I was furious. I wasn't I wasn't um, ashamed of myself because obviously I didn't do it. But I was so so angry. I told this story to absolutely everybody. Do you know, by I think you're fantastic that you actually said that because you had a similar experience, didn't you? And yes. said basically the same thing. To uh, it you. was all. I mean, this is how it all came up because yeah. Debbie put it on Facebook. The horrible man by the window. And I didn't mention who it was. No, she did not mention at all because you didn't even really want to, know, you know, yeah. people to know. And I said, Michael Winner, it's got to be. And then we got together, and you know, it was just sh shocking what the man did to young actresses. And it was a modus operandi. He must have used it for years. And it was yeah. the, so he used the same sort of line on you, Cindy. He asked you to do the same sort of thing over by the window to remove your clothes and all uh, similar to. Yeah, the... he didn't. Um, he didn't ask me to massage my breasts I don't remember him asking just no. to take my top off and why why now what's made you come forward and well, talk about it's the Harvey it Weinstein thing yeah. I mean, because years ago I did go to Mark with this uh, during the Jimmy Savile stuff um, and I went to Mark because uh, I was brought up in the music business as well so when I first met Jimmy Savile the first thing my mum said was Debbie this is Jimmy and he's a dirty old man that was the first thing she said because it was it was absolutely no and yeah, for it was her common knowledge. for her to say that you see what was so interesting is for her a dirty old man and for me it was someone that just leered at you mm. if she knew it went further than that she would have said something but i was so lucky to have a powerful mother who said if anybody does to you that something that is inappropriate you tell them you tell them what to do with it you know mm. don't stand for it well i think harvey weinstein and what that's done is it's shown the world that even those people who are the most powerful can be held to account and of course we've seen the people who've come out against him a-listers you know those really high profile mm. individuals and i think that's crossed the the, the uh, channel and where people are looking at it now and they're now saying actually do you know what this is an industry problem this is an epidemic that's occurred within the 60s 70s 80s 90s and even to a degree now although lesser degree what makes a massive difference now is social media, the Absolutely. internet. Absolutely. You cannot now get away with those types of things because people put it online and then it circulates. And of course, what Debbie did, as a result of Debbie putting it on social media, someone else came forward and there will be other people out there. And oh, I think yeah. it's the power 100%. that people have mm. yeah. to turn around and say, do you know what? Now we've got to hold people to account. People who turn around and say, those things happened in those days. It was an era thing. I'm sorry. That was an offence then and it's an offence now. Mm. And what we need to do 
do is we need to hold those people to account. Yeah. It's a great shame he's not here to face the allegations in the same way as Jimmy Savile wasn't here. Curious, they... What I've realised from putting it on Facebook, which I didn't realise before, because Cindy and I are very strong women, as yeah. you can see, yeah. but there was another lovely girl who contacted me and said that she'd done it and she was 16. She'd come from stage school oh. and she'd, and she'd harboured this for years mm, yeah. and she didn't want to come public about it because she said it's something that she's been so ashamed of. Yeah. There are others out there. Mm. And this is about my kids, about your... We've, got, we've all got daughters here. Mm -hmm. It's about them. They are empowered Having by us. We yeah. have to have a voice. We can't let people... Do, and it's not just women, is no. it? Yeah. It happens Absolutely. to boys. And you, yeah, yeah. you did actually yeah. report it, didn't you, to yeah. Equity? Yeah. I did, and I rang them up they... because I rang them up because I thought he would have rung them too. Yes. To say how rude I was. So I wanted to explain my behaviour. My behaviour. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you, you know. What did they say? What was their reaction well, at the time? Well, you know, I mean, I got I got hold of because in those days in those days, God, it sounds so like <laughs> No, but it's it? true. You know when you keep saying it was an era thing, it's that's what it, it yeah? was different. I know it's true. Did they dismiss to say it? it? Were they well, well, yeah, I bet they, they dismissed it. I just it, said, yeah. you know, has Michael Winner rung to complain about me? Right. You know, and they said no. I said, Well, this is what he did, and they said, Oh, you know. Yeah, what's just... changed is the behaviour was wrong. The behaviour yeah. was always wrong. Attitudes have changed. So the perception yeah. and understanding of what is and isn't right and what can be done about it yeah. has changed because knowledge increases that. And I think it's a really important point you make is that actually this isn't just women. This is men, mm, yeah. this is young boys, this industry yeah. where people are very vulnerable with very powerful people, people who hold their future in their hands. Mm -hmm.